Hey guys, it's Dan from Soiler and welcome back to the One Take Wednesday series. Today on episode 10, I will be going over how to install your belt mounted tourniquet holder version two onto your duty or range belt. To start it off, uh, belt mounted tourniquet holder version two comes in six colors. You've got the solid colors of black, coyote, ranger green, and uh, wolf gray, as well as the camouflage colors, which is multicam and multicam black. Every once in a while, I may do a uh, special limited edition color run, but for right now, those are the six colors you can go on the website and buy any day of the week. Uh, first things first, we'll just go over the tourniquet holder itself. The standard belt mount tourniquet holder version two has hook Velcro on the back, meaning the scratchy Velcro, and loop Velcro on the inside. That's a soft Velcro, all right? These will work with your Lead Devil belt, which is what I have here and I'll be installing on today as well as your Ronin Tactics uh, and a bunch of other standard belts. Uh, the only belts I know of where you're gonna need the reversed version of the version two, so basically the belt mount trigger holder version two reversed, essentially means that it has the loop, the soft Velcro on the back and the hook Velcro on the inside. The only two belts that I know of are the GBRS belts and the Eagle Industry. So if you have those belts, get the reversed one. Otherwise, you're probably good with getting the standard one. And a way to know is by taking the outer belt that you have for your two belt system and looking on the inside here. If it's hook Velcro, standard version two will work. If it's loop Velcro, the soft Velcro, you'll need the reversed version, all right? So first things first here, I, I put this belt on and I move my holster exactly where I want that holster, right? For me, I run that holster if Directly in the center of me is 12 o'clock and going around like a clock. So one o'clock, two o'clock, exactly to the side would be three o'clock. I run my holster right around the, in halfway between the two and three o'clock. For me, that's a very natural draw. It's just forward of kind of where that seam is in your pants. If you've been through a police academy, you know what I'm talking about there. All right, so I already positioned my holster where I want it. Cause again, I'm not gonna let accessory items dictate where I put my life-saving items. Uh, that being the, the pistol itself, right? So again, tourniquet holder is life-saving, but I have other ways I can move that around. So got the holster where I need it. I've got space in the front here. Again, unutilized space, which is kind of the whole reason I designed the, the belt mount tourniquet holder. And in some belts, you'll notice, uh, not the Lead Devil, because they've got a pretty superior design here, but some of the other belts, you'll notice there's no Velcro here, right? Or maybe if you're in between size belts. So what I'm gonna do here is utilize this wasted space to install the version two. First thing, take apart the belt. And essentially all I'm gonna do here is slide this tourniquet holder through the belt, or slide the belt through the tourniquet holder rather. So you may have to stretch it out a little bit, you can, if you want, take the buckle off, but you really don't need to. Being elastic, you can essentially just slide that on. So in the middle here, I'm just sliding the belt through it. Uh, you can take your finger on the back side and just kind of separate it so the hook and loop on the inside is not attaching. Uh, if you're having a hard time with it, like I've done in other videos, you can take a piece of cardboard or an index card, slide it on there, slide it through here so that way it doesn't attach like this. See how it's attaching? But for the most part, if you grab your hand, stick your finger in there and just kind of pull it in the position, you'll notice that the hook and loop then retains the tourniquet holder so it's not moving around, right? So already by having the loop on the inside of the tourniquet holder, it's not moving around, all right? So I adjusted that exactly where I want it. I'll show you right there, let's see, there we go. So it's on there, there's a side view, a front view, all right? Next thing, just for showing you guys, I'm just gonna clip the belt in, normally I wouldn't do this. Once I have it in here, I'm gonna have my stage tourniquet, right? So uh, I stage them, it actually I stage them basically how they come out of the package. Uh, talk to your medic or go based on whatever medical training you have on how you stage yours. I'm not gonna tell you how, how to stage it. That's gonna be based on your team and your team requirements, SOPs, that type of thing. But for me, I stage them how my medic showed me and it's basically exactly how they are when they come out of the package, all right? So I'm just gonna slide this tourniquet into the tourniquet holder, all right? Right in there, slide it all the way in and there you have it. Now, I will say, so this is my competition belt. It's a Lead Devil belt. Uh, I only run this for competition. You'll notice there's no retention on this holster, all right? What I want you guys to be aware of, for anyone rocking like a uh, level three holster, so a duty holster that has, I'll, I'll just give an example, like Safari Land. You've got the hood in the top, as well as the auto lock system, the ALS there. Uh, make sure that your tourniquet is far enough away from the ALS, from the hood, that it does not interfere with your hood. 
All right, and then take your tourniquet, push it all the way in, and make sure it still doesn't interfere with that hood, guys. That, that's super important. I want to make sure that when you install this tourniquet holder, you're not, for whatever reason, if you're getting in a fight, you're grappling, you're jumping over fences, that this tourniquet cannot get pushed back and interfere with that hood, all right? You will notice that when the belt does have a curve for like the curvature of your body, that there is gonna be extra space there, but once you install your tourniquet holder, make sure you put your belt on and make sure that you cannot make this tourniquet interfere with your holster draw. I do not want you guys having any issues drawing your pistol, all right? So I obviously have a level one holster here, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, tourniquet is installed in the tourniquet holder. For this being a range belt, I'm just gonna be using a Sharpie to mark, uh, unfortunately misses, because I'm not perfect. So I just install the Sharpie here on the top, and there you have it. Belt mount tourniquet holder version two installed on a belt. Without all my talking, it would take you roughly 30 seconds to do. And I'll just show you the back side here. So you can see real quick, all the extra Velcro real estate now that this tourniquet holder provides, all right? All the wasted space on the front of the belt that you normally wouldn't have anything there, you now have a piece of life-saving equipment. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys on how to install them. Again, if you ever have any questions, you're not sure if you need the version two, the standard one, or if you need the reversed, again, comment below on the video or always reach out in the Instagram DMs and I'll get back to you. Or you can send an email to dan at soilleader.com. All right, so until next time, stay safe.